After two years, the game's finally out. Of course it's paid as of recording this, but it'll be free in the future. Well as of now, if you're too broke to buy the game, you can play the tutorial instead. Yes it's single player cry about it, but it also somewhat teaches you how the game works. Upon spawning in the tutorial, you'll have your usual interfaces, health, cash, your levels. However you also have a minimap and a hunger slash thirst bar. The hunger slash thirst bar will give you debuffs if they are empty. As far as I know, thirst debuff only makes you regenerate stamina slower. This usually will only happen once you have one bar left. You'll start at 1%, but the lower your bar is, the lower the regeneration is. You really shouldn't worry about this cause you can hardly tell the difference at all. That or you'll simply forget you even have the debuff on you. I have no idea what hunger debuffs give you. Mostly because an icon didn't show up, unlike how dehydration pops up, if your bar is low. So if anyone can tell me that would be great. Mini map is self-explanatory, shows your current position along with other party members, regardless if they are thousands of miles away from you. Mini map becomes useless in bunker, which I'll go into that later. Now that I got almost all the features away, let's actually get into the tutorial. You'll have to talk to this guy to start the tutorial. Once you do he'll give you a radio, and tell you to do multiple objectives. The first objective being, to shoulder bash the door. By holding shift against it, you can bash your shoulder on the door. You can use this separately, by holding shift then clicking to do a shoulder bash that can push enemies off. It only does 5 damage, so you should only really use this to knock them off of top. Once you do that, you'll get two somewhat useful objectives. Then comes the lockpick objective. The lockpick functions like the ones from Dying Light, so yeah good luck. It's not that hard really, it's trial and error, and should take you 10 seconds. Of course the better the loot is, the harder the lockpick mini game will be. So a locker will be almost easy, compare it to unlocking a crate in the bunker. You'll get used to the lockpick mechanic sooner or later. Once you're done lockpicking it, you'll get a tomahawk and a body armor. Congratulations, you now have your first melee. You'll be tasked to do a lunge with it. It's the same buttons for a shoulder bash. You can right click for a heavy swing. That can somehow decapitate people. Now your next objective is to break the window and kill an NPC. There's really no way you can die to the NPC. Also reviving it doesn't make it on your side. I don't know why I even put this here I just thought he would for some reason. As you might have known by now, you can't equip your tomahawk now. What? No, dude! This is because every melee weapons have durabilities for whatever reason. You can get it to 100% durability by going to a merchant and fixing it for I don't know how much. Guns don't have it. Anyways after that, you'll be told to get a gun. You'll find an M1911 in the box. Then you'll be told to do some parkour. Kill two more bad guys. Even more parkour. Then kill even more bad guys. Then you'll get told to loot the rebels back. Inside you'll find a gas mask and an orange keypad, which are important for the next sections. Now the next section is somewhat scary. You'll need to go through a toxic gas that has a crate with an M401 in it. Now you can't spend your time here, cause your gas mask somehow breaks after 10 seconds. This is usually shown by the cracking glass on both sides of your screen, and a very obvious sound cue. <laughs> Walking back in without a gas mask will just deplete your HP. <coughs> the last two objectives. Parkour. Get on a zipline. You can shoot while you're on the zipline by the way. Then kill two bad guys. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Then you're done with the tutorial. Now jump into the tunnel. Prepare yourself for the chaotic hellhole that is. Welcome to Play Online. You'll meet the toxic assholes. Dumb people who don't know their surroundings. A 
and so much more. Anyways I'll be discussing the two important things in this, bunker, and maybe money, but mostly bunker, because I have no idea what I should say for money. There's a new currency I guess, called valuables. Yeah it's just cash, but you have to go through even more extra steps to actually sell it, and if you die, you lose all of it. Kinda don't know what I should be saying more about cash, because I don't know any farming strats for cash. Anyways let's get into bunkers cause I'm tired as I'm editing this video. In order to get into bunker, you'll need two blue key cards or which can be dropped by AIs in the military outpost, it's by chance, so you should get friends to assist you. Once you have the two key cards, go to bunker, and make sure you let your friend know when to activate the terminal. If you did it right, there should be a loud sound that plays. After that, the bunker doors will slowly start opening. It's at this point people will try and take over your bunker raid. So do anything to stop them really. The second you step foot into the bunker. Is jammed. Proximity coverage only. Backup activated. Still rebooted. Caution. Entering dark zone. Yeah this game's worth your robux in my opinion. 99.8% big wins.